after government contractors to corruptly hand out jobs for his son. Dean Skelos and son Adam convicted on all charges. Any comment? Any comment? Any comment today? The jury deliberated three days, but here in his hometown, opinion is not unanimous. I was hoping maybe his son would be prosecuted more than, than Dean himself. Got to play by the rules, right? So, whatever happens, happens. The retrial ordered after the Supreme Court narrowed the definition of federal corruption. The government had to prove Scalos performed official acts in exchange for his son's six-figure low-show jobs. The senior Scalos took the stand in an emotional appeal to explain he was merely trying to help his struggling son by asking for favors but not soliciting bribes. But in a statement, the U.S. attorney said the jury responded to a sordid tale of bribery, extortion, and abuse of power by sending the resounding message that political corruption will not be tolerated. In the office Skelos occupied for three decades, his successor, Todd Kaminsky, is pushing for an overhaul of New York's corruption laws. We really do have a culture of corruption in Albany. It's Republican, it's Democrat, it's at all levels. I think four of the last five Senate majority leaders have been indicted. It's a real, a real scary number. So we've got to do something. The 70-year-old and 36-year-old will both be sentenced in late August. They had previously been sentenced to five and six years respectively, but were able to delay prison pending their appeal. It's unclear if they could put off prison any longer. Reporting live from Rockville Center, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.